Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how you can reuse changes made to your video clips in the color node, such as color grading your clips, adding blurs, that kind of thing, by using what are called shared nodes, which you can add to any of the color page node setups across your clips. So let's just take this first clip over here. I've already cut it into three segments. When you make changes on the color page to a corrector node, by default, that's only going to apply to the cut that you're working on. So I'll take this cut, we'll go over to the color page, and then let's go ahead and create some changes which we can later use as the shared node across our clips. So when it comes to a corrector node, you take whatever input you feed into it, and then you can make some changes here, such as color grading your clip. For instance, you can use curves to change values about your clip based on things like the saturation of areas. So in this case, this is saturation versus luminance. So the more saturated the clip on the right, we can raise or lower the brightness based on that. So if I take this right end point on our curve and we raise this way up, that's going to be taking the saturated areas and making them brighter. Of course, with these curves, you can left click on the graph and add more points if you need to fine tune things a little bit further. So let's just mess around with that a bit. Another thing you could add could be changing the color temperature of your clip. So if you want to shift it more towards a blue indicating a colder environment, then you can shift the color temperature or you can shift it to the right to make it feel more of a hot, sunny environment. So let's put this value at negative 480 just for instance. And then on this tab, the blur tab. So with this blur radius, we can sharpen our image by pulling the radius downwards. So as we do that, the details in the image would become a little more clear. Using this mid detail value is another way we can kind of achieve the same thing. So you might prefer that. And then if we want, we could reset the blur radius. So, so far, these are just pretty random example changes. But imagine that we wanted to apply these to every clip in our timeline. So one way you could take the details in this corrector node and copy it to another clip would be to literally just select the corrector node, hit control C, go up to the clips menu in the top right, find our second clip, take the corrector node in here and control V to paste in the changes from the first corrector node to this one. However, there's a problem with this approach, which is that we have to a copy it to every single clip we want to apply this to. And secondly, that the details, the changes are only going to copy the currently set settings. So if I change the values once again on the first clip and I want to reapply that to all the other clips, I'm going to manually need to control C, control V, copy and paste it in to our other corrector notes. So that's where a shared node comes in handy. Let's go back to the first clip. So the way that you create a shared node is that you right click on your corrector node that's already got some changes on it, and then you do save as shared node. So the shared node, we can double click at the top here and give it a name, and that's gonna be how we reference it in other clips. So I'm gonna call it tutorial share here, hit enter, and then that's gonna be the name that it's gonna appear with in the menu. So if I go to the second clip now, we can add in the shared node. So we right click on the node graph in an empty area. We go to add tool and tutorial share. So this tutorial share node is gonna have the same color grading changes that we had on the first page. And we can apply this to any clip anywhere along this node graph that we want. So this shared node is going to have the same color grading changes that we had set up when we created the shared node. If we want to just use this in this clip, we can take this corrector node, delete it with the delete key, and connect the input to tutorial share, and tutorial share connecting to the output. And we should see the values appear here. So one of the main differences is that as we affect this share node, changing it up, it's gonna affect all of the clips that are using that shared node. However, you'll see a little lock in the bottom right hand corner. So in order to actually make changes to the shared node, you have to right click it and uncheck lock node. So now we can make extra changes if we want. For instance, I can take the lift value and push this towards blue. And we should see the same change apply to this first clip since they're both using the shared node. Let's go over to the third clip here and we'll add it in again. I'm gonna right click add node and do tutorial share. I'm gonna disconnect the input connection to this corrector node right here. So let's 
feed the input to tutorial share. But this time, rather than removing this second corrector node entirely, let's connect the tutorial share to this node. So now the tutorial share will be the base changes that we have on this setup. But if we want a totally custom change to only apply to this clip, then we can use this corrector node that only applies to this clip. So in this, I could do something like take the saturation and drop it to zero for black and white, or we could bump it the other direction, making it saturation of something like 85, and then the colors are just gonna stand out in a very massive way. So when you use shared nodes, you can copy changes between clips, but you don't necessarily have to keep every clip with the exact same color page settings. You can just use your shared node for what you want to copy between clips, and then you can have basic corrector nodes that only apply to specific clips where you need specific changes on those clips. Now, naturally, if we wanted to apply the same changes on the color page to totally unrelated clips, we could still do that. So I can click over here for this fourth clip in the timeline. So even though this is a totally different scene, we can add that corrector node, the shared tutorial share um, on this chain. So if we leave this first corrector node selected while we're adding a corrector node, we can just have it linked straight onto this chain. So I'm gonna right click, add node, tutorial share. This gets popped right in front. So it's up to you whether you want your shared corrector nodes to be before or after. It's gonna just depend on what you're doing. And likewise, we could add it to this final clip as well. Same process, right click, add node, tutorial share. Okay, and let's just make sure that gets connected here and to the output so that we can actually see those changes. So now all of these nodes are going to get that very blue look to them. And if we later decide that any change we made, we want to undo or to change into something else, we simply need to unlock our shared node so we can make changes to it and add some extra changes and using many of the tools that we have available. For instance, the new color web, we could do something like uh, pull this blue end desaturate all of the blues if that's something we're looking to do or we could shift it over here towards green as one way we could radically change the colors in the original video clips and of course since these are shared nodes it's going to apply to all of our clips all at once so shared nodes are essentially going to be the best way for you to copy corrector node changes between two or more of your clips when you want to keep all of those changes made on the color page synchronized between your clips and not having to copy all of the changes between your corrector nodes manually. So I hope this video helped all of you out there a little bit. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my future video content.